You ever go on a date and you think everything is going well? You're connecting, you're sharing, and then you don't hear from the person again. It's a mistake that is really hard to correct. And I'm seeing it more and more from both men and women. No one is immune to it. Both my male clients and my female clients are experiencing this. And it's become incredibly embarrassing. And most don't even notice until it's too late. This mistake is called floodlighting. Now floodlighting was coined by Brene Brown who has an incredible TED talk about vulnerability and shame. And so what floodlighting is, is it's sharing, oversharing, something that probably you didn't intend to share. And once you've done it, it's really hard to backtrack and to recover from it. It can make you feel embarrassed self-conscious, uncomfortable. You might begin to blush and feel unsettled. Floodlighting is the oversharing of details that nine out of 10 times tends to be very personal. And it comes about when you share something with someone who's not prepared for it. Once you say something, there's no way to take it back. It's out there, it's floating around. You don't know if it turns the person off now or later when they think about it. You don't know if they're gonna use it against you. Floodlighting can occur when you are excited or overwhelmed because you're meeting someone that you're interested in. It can also happen when you're starving for connection. And this is our direct result from the pandemic. The pandemic has caused people to isolate and not have the close relationships that you once had. If you stayed in, if you kept to yourself, if you didn't see your friends on a regular basis, you're more likely to experience this when you go on a date. Now, if you're lucky, you'll notice that there is a change in the atmosphere or maybe a change in his facial expression. But if you are completely focused on your story, you may not even notice at all. And that's where it can go wrong. I hear stories from both my male and female clients that they thought the date was going so well. They're looking forward to a second and even a third date and then crickets. They're disheartened. Now we've all been there. You're having a great time. You're laughing. Uh, You're telling about your childhood. You're enjoying yourself. And it seems like he is too, but then a couple of days go by and you don't hear anything. A couple of weeks go by and you never hear from him again. Have you ever experienced this? Because it happens a lot and it's not just you. So floodlighting, what can you do to prevent it from happening again? What can you do so that you don't overshare? so that you can go on the date feeling comfortable and confident. So I made a list. I made a list of five things that you can do that can keep you from floodlighting. And I wanna share it to you because I don't want you to make the mistake that my clients have made. So first, I want you to decide how you want to come across. Then make a list of three go-to topics that always get a good response. I want you to imagine the date going extremely well and ground yourself before you go on that date, giving yourself positive affirmations. And lastly, I want you to be tuned in to how much you're drinking. I want you to drink responsibly because when you're having a great time, and you get caught up in the moment, you could drink too much and overshare. My intention for you, my goal for you, is for you to attract the right man who's right for you. Date him, enjoying getting to know him and letting him get to know you so that the two of you can co-create a loving, happy, 
connected, sexy relationship. If you want to go a little deeper, if you want to have an actionable plan, a recipe that will get you into a relationship, I invite you to schedule a strategy call with me. We'll talk about your next steps and you'll have an actionable plan that will help you get there. Now, did you get your free dating tips? They are at daretodatedifferently.com and yes, they're free. They'll teach you how to set up a dating profile that will attract the right one to you. My intention for you is to date intentionally. Maintain your mystery, your boundaries, so that you don't floodlight and overshare.